Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. X-ray operators spend hours, and in many cases, years, training and learning how to appropriately administer x-rays to their patients. Specialists learn that raising the kilovoltage settings adds more grayscale to the image. Consequently, adding or subtracting milliamps will affect the overall brightness or darkness to a film. But what happens when a digital image appears undesirable and the specialist is unable to improve the image by raising or lowering their factors? This can be very confusing because as a part of their training, x-ray operators master the ability to control the appearance of a film by adjusting their KV and mass. Although initially disconcerting, the answer lies in the software of the digital image. You see, x-rays are processed digitally by a DICOM software, which is simply a specialized imaging platform that records, labels, orients, and adjusts the new x-ray image. The DICOM images are typically layered files, meaning that a completed x-ray image is comprised of three or more files. These layers are either image files or header files. The header files are responsible for embedding the patient and examination data into the complete image. This might include the patient's name, birth date, and ID number. But regarding the image quality, the image data files are responsible for how an image looks. These files contain algorithms that are able to take a raw x-ray image and transform it into an ideal picture-perfect diagnostic radiographic image. This has revolutionized medical imaging because the radiographer has a lot of latitude when shooting their x-rays. They can over or underexpose a patient as much as 300 percent and the system will still yield a diagnostic image. A radiographer can use too much KVP for a rib examination, but these algorithms will still achieve a high contrast image regardless, providing the radiologist with an adequate study. On the other hand, if the algorithms are off or require reprogramming, the x-ray operator is held hostage to these formulas when acquiring their x-rays. When film is too gray, historically, radiographers lowered their KVP to ameliorate this, but now, with these digital algorithms, this method is rendered ineffective. The operator can, indeed, make extreme changes to see any significant play, but by and large, in order to change the appearance of the image, the algorithm may need adjusting. Or the specialist may simply need to process the x-ray image as a different type of exam. An example of this would be processing an abdominal x-ray under the chest x-ray settings. Depending on the software, this should be relatively easy. Most x-ray software is automatic and reliable. But as in anything, it is in a perfect world. In my travels, I've witnessed x-ray personnel using excessively high radiation to generate an image, when all the while the solution resided in the software. Obviously, we immediately address these issues. I hope this provides some insights for those who have experienced these type of issues in their course of practice. Should these issues arise in your clinic, remember the basics, use your technique charts, and consider contacting the x-ray software company if all approaches seem to be ineffective. If your clinic is in need of a reliable technique chart, you can find our customized chart, affectionately referred to as the last technique chart you will ever need, at theradiologycoach.com. That concludes this episode of Why Aren't My X-Ray Images Getting Better When I Change the Exposure Settings? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.